Back in the first video in this series, I stated that GIS deals with geospatial data, that is, data associated with geographic locations on Earth. Within GIS applications, that data is represented in certain basic forms. For starters, data is mapped in the form of either vectors or rasters. Vectors are further broken down into points, lines, and polygons. To explain these, I think that some examples are in order. Points are commonly used to represent cities or towns on maps. Lines represent things that are, well, linear. Some examples of that are streets, railroad tracks, and rivers. Polygons, as you may remember from elementary school, are formed when a line encloses an area, such as a circle, triangle, or a square. Examples of polygons in GIS include the outlines of political jurisdictions, such as counties, states, or nations, or property boundaries, or the footprints of structures, such as buildings. So all of those are examples of vectors. Rasters are a bit different. Raster data is a grid work of squares, analogous to the pixels in a picture. The coloration of each square represents some data value or characteristic of its area on the map. Rasters are good for representing continuous data that doesn't necessarily have some clear definitive border. For example, if showing the extent of a forest, how would you determine precisely where the forest ends as opposed to it just becoming thinner and sparser? Using raster data, you might call your squares dark green to represent a high density of trees, and lighter shades of green where there is a greater separation between individual trees. If you zoom in on raster data, it will eventually start looking pixelated and you'll be able to see the individual squares. Smaller squares will result in a more detailed map, but will also rapidly increase the disk storage requirements for your data. So that, in a nutshell, describes the different ways in which data may be represented in GIS. In the next video, we will look into possible sources of geospatial data that may be incorporated in GIS.